टुडे लेट्स सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन 2021 एपी ई सेट क्वेश्चन पेपर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द लॉजिक सर्किट्स हुज आउटपुट एट एनी इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम डिपेंड्स ओनली ऑन द प्रेजेंट इनपुट बट आल्सो ऑन द पास्ट आउटपुट्स आर कॉल्ड दे आर कॉल्ड सीक्वेंशियल सर्किट्स नाउ इन सीक्वेंशियल सर्किट्स द आउटपुट सिग्नल इज फेड बैक टू इनपुट साइड so these circuits outputs at any instant of time depends only on the present input but also on the past inputs unlike sequential circuits we have combinational circuits whose outputs depends only on the present input so sequential circuits have this feedback com concept which you have to understand now let's get back to the next question what is the maximum possible range of bit count specified in n bit binary counter consisting of n flip flops remember the maximum possible range of bit count specifically in an n bit counter having n flip flops is given by the formula 0 to 2 power n minus 1 you can see the options so here this is the maximum range next triple counters are also known as asynchronous counters because of the way the clock pulse ripples its way through the flip flops so here it is asynchronous counter next what is the difference between static ram and dynamic ram remember static ram i'll show you a comparison table for your better understanding so this pdf is prepared by me which you can purchase from the particular web link which is given so here transistors in sram transistors are used in sram for storing the information whereas in dram capacitors are used capacitors are not used hence there is no concept of refreshing in a static ram whereas Capacitor needs to be refreshed periodically in a dynamic RAM. So SRAM is faster when compared to DRAM, whereas DRAM is slower in speed. So obviously transistors are costlier than capacitors. And SRAMs are low density devices, whereas there is no catch memory in this particular case. So dynamic RAMs must be referred and static RAMs will not need any refreshment because they are based on transistors so let's get back to the next question how many not gates are required to construct a 4 by 1 multiplexer remember a 4 by 1 multiplexer will need two not gates because you have to complement both the inputs so i'll show you the diagram of this multiplexer for better understanding so if you observe here you have only two not gates and you have four inputs x0 x1 x2 x3 and c1 and c0 are the selection lines and m is your output which clearly indicates that you need only two not gates in your 4 to 1 multiplexer the output of a full subtractor is same as a very standard question this is same as a full adder because the sum and difference output of a full adder and full subtractor are same here full subtractor so full adder and full subtractor are the same so it is the expression is a x or b x or c and only the carry expression will be changing so the representation of 396 base 10 in octal is so if I take 396, if I divide it by 8, that is 49 and I will be having a remainder 4 which is the least significant bit and again 49 divided by 8, the remainder is 1 and 6 <coughs> divided by 8 is 0. Now if I write the equivalent part, if I see the options, I simply get 614 which is my answer. Because we are supposed to write MSB to LSB. Now the next question 23 base 8 and 67 base 8. So I can convert them into decimal form or I can directly do it. 
so if i continue if, if i convert them 3 into 8 power 0 plus 2 into 8 power 1 similarly 6 7 into 8 power 0 plus 6 into 8 power 1 then so if you see the steps i converted 23 into decimal and then 67 into decimal where i got 74 now if i do the division i will be getting 112 base 8 which is the answer now next question the main disadvantage of a dual slope a2d integrator so if you observe dual slope basically the main problem is slow conversion rate which is often in the range of 10 samples per second and in applications where this is not a problem you can use this such as in a temperature transducer so dual slope has the main disadvantage which is slow conversion rate now add the bcd numbers 1001 and 0100 so firstly you will be adding we get 1001 and 01001101 but this is not a bcd form so we have to add another 6 so we get 10011 and you can write this as 001 0011 so if you see the options this is the right answer